what is up guys and welcome back to Nikon plus yes it's been a while since i used my boys to record some of my videos uh you guys are you guys already know i was a little bit under the weather i was a little bit sick so i couldn't record and i was using the hell of siri and boom we're back here again with some more videos so going back into it i have a um, commenting one of my videos asking me to test again gta san andreas and a new game we're gonna be testing bully so as you guys know as of my previous video i'm actually running the latest version of the emulator which is version 0.50 that's the latest version available right now so i'm gonna be running that version of the emulator and i'm gonna be testing those two games uh um again well more for gta i'm testing it again as you guys request and i'm gonna be testing bully which is one of the new games i'm gonna be testing here so now that we're in the settings i'm gonna put everything back to normal so for the back end which is the default one is opengl we're gonna go back to opengl okay opengl and resolution factor we're gonna have the uh, 1x so it's gonna be native resolution and we're gonna start first we're gonna start with bully so we're gonna start testing that game we're gonna be testing in the two different options for the backends that we have available so we're gonna be testing on open yell and we also gonna be testing in, in bulk and also we're gonna try some of the resolution scaling to see how the games perform so let's start with bully first And as you guys know, just in case you haven't seen any of my tutorials or my videos, you guys already know how I'm running the emulators. My iPad is not jailbroken. I'm running right now iOS version 15.4, and I'm using the workaround like I did in my previous tutorials. I'm using Jitterbug, and the other one that you could use, I have a tutorial out on that one. Uh, link is going to be down below in the video description for both of them. I'm going to be use uh, you could use also use all store and use the LG to run it. We're having to use Jitterbug. Well, like I said previously, I prefer Jitterbug because I have my tablet and my phone with me, so I don't have to carry anything extra because I usually carry this too. So it's way better for me that way. So let's go back into the game. for the testing sake i'm gonna go ahead and skip the intro to see how it's in um back in the menu so let's go just skip this to see how it's performing okay we finally getting into in-game so let's see how it is um doing so let's double check on that i'll probably speed up and cut up some of the parts of the video so we could get right away into the the gameplay to make it easy for you guys and easy for myself as well so let's see how the games look okay first thing first so we in-game in the king is running very slow it's running around 28 frames per second and dropping below that and it keeps disconnecting from my capture car and on top of that the screen is shaking and i haven't done anything crazy yet i have everything on default settings everything is on open gl and i'm using uh resolution factor times 1x so at this point how this is looking and the screen shaking that doesn't make any sense to increase the resolution but just for the sake of it let's see what happened yeah the resolution is improved but still we have that shaking and the screen which is not helping at all like we could increase the resolution but we still have that shaking here and there so let me go back and switch to Vulcan let's put it at times 1x let's see how it run I have a save stick so I could get into there fast as fast as possible let's see if it works because sometimes the save states give me some issues like this one right here so it's not working properly so let me see if I could reload the game from the beginning 
to get to that point and i'm gonna fast forward this again and we all right now we're using vulcan backend so i'm gonna try to just escape this and get to the point to see if it's, um we get that that visual artifact that we were having when i did the quick say low so let's see if it's not then is uh it's not compatible using the vulcan backend so is um you will have you guys will have to use the open gl but let's see how it goes and uh I will go back again to open GL to see and but to be honest i don't think it's gonna be fixed because i mean as as it is right now if i go back to and shake change the resolution it's not gonna do anything that's what i mean it's not gonna be fixed but if they uh because the developer for this um emulator continually is doing like um updates to make some of the games more compatible but no it's the game is, is not playable at all using Vulcan so that did not do anything let's go back to OpenGL uh, let's increase it times four like I said it's not gonna do anything because it's gonna be the same uh this visual issues that's going on let's go to say state to see if it loads and then click on low, uh, low state. There you go, low. Let's see. Okay, it loaded. The game looks a lot better. Graphically, it looks a lot better, but we still had the same issue with the screen shaking. And even though the resolution is better, you still see the same artifact going on. So there's nothing we could do about this at, at this point. Because some of the games are compatible, some of the games are not compatible. With this emulator, it's all about time. And um, it all depends when it's going to be fixed at the moment. So we still got to wait for those. Okay, uh, moving on. I'm going now to GTA. So I could fit everything in one video, so I don't have to make you guys wait. Let's see how's GTA running. I'm using OpenGL times 1x. Then we're gonna move on to see um, resolution scaling and you see if we got any visual artifact. Like right now the screen is shaking, but let's see if it is as bad as bully or not. Once again, we're keeping skipping everything till we cook into the game. I will make sure to cut this into sections and skip some other stuff so it will get you right into gameplay so you guys don't have to waste a lot of time. And as always, I'm gonna have this divided by section during the video so you could jump in between for your convenience. Also, one more thing that I, wanna, I want to make sure is clear. Once again, the device is not jailbroken. I'm not recording directly from my iPad like I usually do. I usually do. I have some settings off, and uh, I also recording directly from my capture card using my computer. So the CPU of the iPad or the GPU and the GPU is not stressed, dividing the workload between providing gameplay and providing uh, recording at the same time. So it could use 100% what it has to offer without any high point interruption. Okay, the game is running around 20 frames per second or so. As you, I don't know if you guys could see in the top left corner. I'm gonna have this all fixed up so you guys could see it like I usually do in my videos, so you guys can see it better. Uh, and we still have those visual artifacts as on my previous video. 
uh, you can see like the reflection on the top because it, like it's like a reflection you know the the background on top. I don't know if you guys can see it. And um, like I said, the game compatibility is doesn't have to do with the update unless some of the games were worked on when, when the update, like in the previous update for the play emulator. So for that, please make sure you always checking the compatibility list and the updates uh, notes that I've been posting because they it actually lets you know if the game is more compatible. Because at this point, this is uh, my third or fourth time testing this game and it's been the same performance. Because it, once again, it's not like the fully playable compatibility list. So you guys need to check that list. Because I don't know if you guys could see this couple, multiple reflections. And it doesn't matter what resolution I use. If I go to the regular resolution, we're still getting those artifacts and we're still getting those reflections. For time's sake, I'm going to save, uh, create a new save slot for a quick save. Go back, exit, and we're going to switch to Vulcan. I'm going to put a 1x and then we're going to switch to Vulcan. The settings that I have here in the emulator are the default settings. The only thing that I'm messing with is, as what you guys could see, is the show frame and draw call counters, which is showing the graphical counters, the SPF. That's the only thing they're showing. And the only thing that I'm switching around is the Vulcan and uh, the, the, uh, I mean the back end or how they call it here, the handler on the video and the resolution factor, so you guys can see different options. And also, another thing that I have enabled here is for those that saw my tutorial on how to use the, the object using the Outstore service from your computer, you need to have this enabled so it could work properly. That's all I'm doing, but like I said, I'm not using that because I'm using Jitterbug because it's a lot easier for myself. And it's can be pretty much convenient for me. So right now I should switch to Vulcan, one X resolution. Let's load the game. I have a quick save now. Let load the state so we could get there faster. And it's basically doing the same thing as previously. It's now playable with Vulcan. So with Vulcan, it's gonna be looking like this in most of the games. It's gonna it's gonna look like this. So your best bet is to always use OpenGL because at the moment these two games are GTA is a little bit more playable, you could say, but it's um it's not fully fully playable yet. So it's still with a new the newer version, it's still having the same issues on my previous two, three videos before about GTA. And the same thing for bully for bully is a little bit kind of worse because the, the image they still start shaking and then some other size. Well, you guys are as you guys already saw, it's it's not handling too well. And once again, remember to always check the compatibility list that, uh, to check any games that you want to play it will tell you how it will work and also make sure um, you check the description of this video so you could find uh, the links so you could download the emulator you could also check the um, the updates nodes on the emulator and i also have a link for the compatibility list and for those that play on android I have also the link so you can download the best PS2 emulator available on the, on the Play Store, which is a E3S X2, which I'm hoping they bring for the iOS because that emulator is fantastic. I've been using it on my Samsung phone and it's amazing. It is really good and it's one of the PS2 emulators I recommend and hopefully we get to see that emulator made their way here for the iOS or this one gets a little bit more better, but it will take a couple of years, but, but I know it could get better and better. So once again, thank you guys for watching and remember to like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next one.